Hiya, I'm going to show you how to make a box using a plastic canvas. Okay, my last tutorial it will show you how to get to this point. Doing a design on canvas using cross stitch. We're going to make it into a box. Okay, so first of all, you're going to need two bits exactly the same size. One for the top and one for the bottom. The one with the design on obviously is going to be the top. The bottom, you can put a design on, but it's going to be inside the box. So you can also do it blank. You're going to need two strips for the sides. You want it the same height as the original plastic canvas, and then obviously how thick you want the box. Then you want two for the top and the bottom as well. One for the top and the bottom, should I say? And you want that the same thickness as the other two sides. And we're just going to sew these together. Okay, so you want to start off with the lid, and we're going to make a box like similar to this, it's just going to be a basic box the smaller one was used using the smaller canvas, you can tell the stitches are a lot smaller okay so you want to take the top edge top side and you want to place them so the backs are facing each other and you're going to line them up and sew through the holes so you need them nice and lined up otherwise it will be wonky Okay, so you just need to take some yarn and put it on a needle. You want the yarn to be matching. And you just place the needle from the back, put it through the front, and then go through the next stitch to come back. On the, this is on the side part. And you're just going to tie a couple of knots in here just to make it secure. Now this is just going to be a basic box. It's going to be another tutorial following where it's like a separate lid and some other ideas using plastic canvases so keep an eye out for those okay so once you've done that you want to get the little tail bit of the yarn and hold it across the top of the canvas and this is going to be stitched in with it to hide it so again line it up you want the holes lined up perfectly and we're going to start stitching so the yarn's going to be in between the two at the moment, so you want to just bring that out to the back by putting it through the first hole. Then you want to bring your needle over the top, round to the front, then uh, thread your needle through the holes, so you end up at the back again. Hopefully it won't too confusing. <laughs> Sorry for the blurry camera. The sun kept going in and the light weren't great. <laughs> Okay, so once you pull that through, you want to pull it, I want to say tight, but not too tight, because this is the lid, and you want to open it a bit, so you want a little bit of room to move. And you just keep doing this stitch all the way around, so you just move on to the next hole, and do that the whole way along that edge. And once you've done that, you're going to do one last stitch at the end, so you're going to put it through the holes, and you want to keep a little bit of the yarn, don't pull it the whole way through. Then you're going to put the needle back through that hole, that loop that you just made. Pull it tight to create a knot. Then you want to take the needle and thread it under the last few stitches you've done. And this is just going to hold the knot in place. Because if you cut the yarn directly at the knot, it can come undone. And my needle got stuck. <laughs> Hopefully you won't have that trouble. <laughs> okay, so you just pull the yarn through and you just trim off the excess. Okay, so that's it, that's your lid. And now we're going to build the sides up. And we're just going to add one of the long sides now. And we're just going to use the exact same stitch as we just used exact same way except for you're going to do it along the short edges of this one so again the wrong sides put together and just stitch along that side and then carry on with the next side and the next until you've created the basic shape of the box 
the more you do this stitch the more quicker you'll be at it and you'll be able to make one of these boxes in no time okay so once you've done that this is what it will look like something similar to this anyway so you open it up and it's the box it doesn't have the bottom in yet so you're going to take the bottom part and because you're not going to see underneath you can actually put the back side um, at the bottom bottom underneath so when you open it up you can actually see the top part of it so it makes it look a lot nicer and a lot more clean okay, and this one's slightly different you're going to be using the same stitch but because it's just laying on top of the um, the sides you're going to be stitching at a slight angle that's the only difference rather than straight going through the straight um, from the back to the front okay, so just tie a knot in the edge and then we'll just lay the bottom on top of the box because it's upside down <laughs> and you just carry on doing that stitch the whole way around and this is what it end up looking like your box is complete I say it's just a simple version I uh, hope you can understand it okay and I look forward to seeing yours okay. Thank you. Bye.